More than 40 women in the Southeast scammed, including five of them right here in Greensboro. Investigators say they sent inappropriate pictures to a man who said he was the owner of a modeling agency, but it turns out it was a lie. Investigators say this is the man behind it all. 32 year old Kevin Kearney from Denton in Davidson County. He's accused of blackmailing his victims and threatening to make the pictures public. After a months long investigation, UNCG police arrested him. WFMY News 2's Alma McCarty is live now on the UNCG campus where the first victims came forward. Well, it was back in October when UNCG police began building their case against Kevin Kearney after five students told investigators here what happened to them, that a man who was posing as an agent was offering them an opportunity to model, but only if they sent him pictures. Now, detectives say Kearney didn't use his real name and this type of catfishing then turned into what's called sextortion when he told the girls that he would share the explicit photos of them to their friends, family and followers if they didn't give him full control of their Instagram accounts. Basically, he was soliciting girls for pictures of themselves and then using that um, to try to get information on their social media accounts. Really, we have a feeling that there's more victims out there. Uh, so we would really like them to come forward, work with their local law enforcement agencies. Police identified 40 victims across our state, Virginia, and possibly South Carolina. UNCG police arrested Kearney last week after months of investigating, charging him with five counts of felony extortion and five more misdemeanor cyber stalking. And the whole case started with the bravery of these five girls that came forward and, and started this case off. Them being able to do that really helped us out. So I understand people might be skeptical and hesitant about doing that, which I'm sure maybe they were at the time, but to be able to show how we saw this case through, um, I think that speaks volumes for it. He is in the Guilford County Jail tonight.